Arta with a sizable stack, third in chips, opening into two covering stacks. So the raise is to 140,000. Alex Kulev with queen 10 of diamonds in the small blind. And that is a call. So we're going to go heads up to the first flop of the day. And it's king 6-3, top pair for Martirosian. Kulev whiffs. Action has been checked to Martirosian. Come to these final tables with your Mickey Mouse t-shirts. Yeah, and just a, a sort of genuine tank on, on what he wants to do. I think this would be... You know, if we were just playing for chips, that would just be a continuation bet every time. But really incentivized to just play a smaller pot versus a covering stack. Doesn't want to get check raised and be forced into bluff catching mode. Doesn't want to tip off his hand and, um, you know, then it, there's a board pair face aggression. And Kulev obviously turns an open-ended yes. straight draw here. This is a pretty big turn card, actually. Obviously, Marta... Um, Martirosian improving to top two pair, but Alex with these, you know, quite nutty outs now. So Kulev taking the lead. So here's my turn to ask the stupid question, Sam. Is this a raising spot for Martirosian ever to protect? No, it's just, uh, again, you just have to play a little bit more passively, uh, less raises, uh, less aggression when you're covered. And what wow. a river card there. <laughs> Kulev gets the... So why don't you bet the flop again? <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 yes, and and just, like just this is the power right? of the big stack. 440,000. Yeah. 440 into 660. And we don't see a snap from Arta, but he will be calling. Yeah, two, top two, too good. Oh, Very unfortunate run out. Not happy. And I wonder if Kulev flats here, by the way. I wonder if Alex just takes a flop. Very often, Bajikowski doesn't have an overcard. You can see, wow, you can see he's yeah, really interesting. Alex needs to decide. It's going to be sort of polarized. We've seen him play shops, right? So the opens are going to be the very worst hands and the very best hands. Does he want to sort of take advantage of that by, by shoving? No, he no, doesn't. You, do do you think go, that pal. makes sense? And, and Trapping in a hand exactly like three dudes and protecting the weaker parts of your range. And let's. Geez. Oh my goodness. Bottom two pair oh my for Bajakowski. For the moment, Kulev's Kings cracked. What? What? It's not over yet, of course. Cards to come. This three dudes can get counterfeited. This is a one big blind bet. And a further slow play from Alex. He thinks he's trapping Makita. Can't know that he's actually... Oh, oh there we go. Counterfeited now. Yeah, and I guess neither player happy to see that card. Particularly Badziakowski. Will he put out another bet to protect against over cards, Badziakowski? We imagine he might check. Just pushing, just nudging his equity, folding out. A jack-10 of hearts. Yeah, no need to raise now. River card. It's the four of diamonds. Either player. Badziakowski, does he show down for a smidge here? Seems like if we were going to bluff, maybe we'd be trying to bluff him off a three or two. So for that reason, we don't want to be bluffing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we show down for some percentage of the pot. Against uh, against an ace deuce, uh, against a, an ace queen high, perhaps, um, and flips, flip flop there on flop and turn in the direction of Alex Kulev. Ace ace ten on the flop. We are going to see some flops. Queen high holding for now. This is an interesting board, isn't it, Sam? It's one of those that probably you just. A lot of players just stab, super dry, ace, ace, 10, not that much action pre-flop, but when you get to this level, you'll find a lot of players finding the king high floats, the queen high floats, even just some air ball floats to try and take it away on later streets. So I, n I would expect Kulev to just check it here a lot of the time. That's kind of a level one mindset. Don't get that much done with a one big blind stab. Yep. And, and also just aggression goes down when you're playing against the chip leader. 
Kulev again deciding whether to stab or delay a bluff to the river. Can, can force out some, even just for, forcing out some, some dominating fives is quite nice. But Badziakowski, queen high, not certain to fold. Yeah, definitely a consideration Overcard here. to a 10 is kind of nice. Yep. The queen high is kind of nice just in itself. Will come along. Kulev, six high. Going into the river. So flush comes in. Ten makes a boat. Two is counterfeited. So Badziakowski, you know, if he had a five do suited or a, a, an eight do suited is, is sort of counterfeited. Eight deuce, of course, would, would still, the eight would play. So Kulev may feel with six high here, obligated to bluff. Does he want to randomize in some manner? Nice to have a, a spade in hand. What size would you go if you had a 10? What's your value range look like here with ace 10? Yeah. Right. Uh, using a time bank chip. And one thing to remember is Alex doesn't have many time bank chips. Got to be very careful. Do we, do, we get, do we bet every six high, five high, queen high, counterfeited two? How do we... control our, our frequency. And what is the sizing? What's our worst value bet? What size would we go with a flush? Is there a smaller sizing or is it just a pot sizing? If I had an ace, what sizing am I going? What do I want to match up with? Am I repping an ace? Am I, re uh, am I, am I do, a, do a 10 and a flush? Goes, and he goes Ooh. for the over bet. Makita with a bluff catcher. Nine is, is nice. I think, don't doesn't bluff nine high as much as five high and six high and seven high. Queen queen three would be a much worse holding here. Mm. Would rather, but he has queen jack. He has king highs. How does he? Doesn't have a spade in hand. What what does he want to have here? This is a big decision for Makita. It's a huge swing as well, by the way. It would really push Alex down to the short stack if he can make this call, and Makita would be back to shove. Yeah, that's Shove true. Tertiary. And he lets it go. Wow. Alex Kulev gets it done. Nice work. The first real swipe we've seen anyone take at Bajovkovsky. 22 people on the effect of a shack of diamonds. You're loving this spot. Yeah, and he's coming for a raise, I think, the last two small blinds as well. You can sometimes raise get shoved on by the... The lower aces. Yeah, I think we usually see ace jack suited almost always raised in this position, and then maybe ace jack off is a combo that you might want to consider sort of limp raising versus an iso or something of that nature. And Makita with pretty strong holding himself in the form of king nine off. Pretty evenly matched hands, of course. Wow, great flop for Bajakowski here. Kulev really needs to just find an ace at this point to improve no backdoor hearts, potentially backdoor diamonds. I mean, he's just gonna have the best hand here a ton. I expect him to probably see that this board really small like we've seen. Just seems like a great spot to put in, you know, quarter pot here, just take it down right here most of the time. Yeah, and it's just, again, you know, we're not at a stack depth where an eight matters too, too much, right? Occasion, the times we're beat, we're, we're getting taken for the lot. And Kulev not, you know, not excited to see this check raise. Of course, uh, Ace Jack going to be the best hand. Still a whole bunch of the time, and that is a complete brick on the turn. Shouldn't interact too much with the hands. Makita's going to check raise bluff. 1.8 in the middle, 2.7 behind, 17 big blinds, and with the nine kicker, two pair. Makita elects to check. Gonna have just some gives up, give ups, right? Like let's say he has a sort of a, a, a seven five of diamonds that he elects to check raise. Gonna wave the white flag with that. Gonna decide to play the king nine as a check. Feels like if he goes bet, bet all in, might be just too much of an overplay. And Kulev will check back. Needs an ace oh, and wow. does. 
find. And Patiakowski doesn't even go for a block, but really senses that Alex gonna go for value here on the river. What is his sizing? One million. One million. One million. Targeting that king axe. And Patiakowski with a bluff catcher. Could Alex play a king like this? Is it ever a chop? Does he need to look up Kulev with all his kings? What properties does he want? Is the is the heart significant? Does he want a heart? Does he not want a heart? And the glasses come up, and and we've we've seen this in in Barcelona. We've seen this in Monte Carlo. Makita coming alive as the cogs start to turn. <clears throat> Having the nine of hearts here, obviously not great, right, Sam? You'd love him to have a hand like nine, ten of hearts here, where he floats with the flush drop of bricks and tries to rep the ace. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Sort of thinking yeah. through what he knows. He does feel he's got to pay, and that's sort of a mark of of, of what he thinks of of Alex's game. Just feels yeah. like the king nine is is just too good a bluff catcher. Kula with ace 10 of diamonds on the button. Bodjakovsky, the effective stack with 14 bigs behind. And we play a lot of limps and jams here. Um, 400? Does come in for a sizable, uh, for a min raise. Bodjakovsky. Obviously, oh. ace jack, it's a domination situation. And this is what we talked about the prospect of the reversal. Bodjakovsky doubling up through Kulev. Yeah, unbelievably strong holding. Very unfortunate situation for Alex Kulev. Snap call here from Alex. Ace yeah. 10. Wow. The all in and the call. And this could change the dynamic once again. If Ace Jack holds, Bozyakovsky will be the chip leader and Kulev will have a 14 big blind stack. Uh, on the other hand, if Diamonds come in or Kulev outdraws Makita, we will have... Hmm? You couldn't have the Ace Deuce off. Alex bemoaning his luck. A little bit of a smirk. Bozyakovsky a 64% favorite as we go to the flop. That flop, Ace 5-3. So a few opportunities. Bozikovsky now a four to one favorite to win. Turn card is the three of spades. I'll take it. A king, a queen to chop, a 10. River card is a 10. Whoa. And that will do it. Domination okay. rotation, river style, and that will see Alex Kulev take down the super high roller title here in Monaco. Mikita Bodzikovsky is the runner up for a seven figure score, just over a million euros. But Alex Kulev from Bulgaria gets the 993K that they locked up in the heads up deal, well plus the additional 43K, yeah. okay. plus he will get to lift the oh, trophy. Yeah, yeah. We will add him to the yeah, list, Sam, of super high roller champions.